everybody, my name is NinjaWex the Enlightened Gamer. Welcome back to another episode of Twilight Princess. We took a little bit of a break from the main story and the gameplay last time as we studied the Lanairu Vision, one of the most surreal and disturbing things in a Zelda game. It's really more like a nightmare than a vision. But I... I really had a lot of fun putting that first episode of Token together, and you guys, depending on how it's received, can expect to see more. Dep it, it, it doesn't really... It's hard to do episodes of Token because it's really dependent on the quality of what I'm looking at. So anyway, today... What's the purple? What's the purple? Oh, the purple's the lake bed temple. We're not actually going to go there yet because we can't do anything there. We need to go back to Hyrule Castle Town. And in the way, we're probably going to see the hero's shade again. But I had a revelation today. I discovered something about the three or the four spirits. He's Plumum. So we need to get back to Hyrule Castle Town. Anyways, my... Really? Really? I need to find a way to get back to Hyrule Castle Town. Then I'll be able to get back on topic. You know, I know water levels in games get a lot of negative attention, but... They're usually my favorite levels. As someone who plays for atmosphere more than speed or the addictive impulses of playing, I absolutely love most water levels. There are the exceptions. Water levels that are barren or devoid of anything interesting. Water levels with no music, because music is crucial to a water level being fun. I think the way we get back to Hyrule Castle is we have to talk to this guy. Because the bird didn't do anything. Oh, Zora! I am a member of the Zora. I am a member of the Zora tribe. The proud people who care for Lake Hylia. The other Zoras are all on guard patrol at the bottom of the lake. Good. Oh lord. Some of the Zoras are still alive down under there. I thought maybe they dried up along with the lake. Hey buddy, have you heard? There's like a temple or something at the bottom of this lake. They put on such airs with all their rituals and fancy temple hoo-ha. Then they just disappear. What's with putting up that temple so deep that humans can't swim there? I swear those Zoras. Oh, are you a customer? <laughs> You're one lucky fella, fella. The height of excitement, the thrill of launching to the heavens, the very peak of flying fast fantastication. It can be yours, fella, for a limited time only and without waiting in line. It's a paltry 10 rupees. Oh, never mind. We'll give it a shot. I don't know if this is a mini game or the way back to Hyrule Castle, but we'll see. And it's weird, so get ready for the weird. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Anyway, now that we're f you. 
Thank you, Midna. That reminds... Oh, hang on, guys. It's actually been a while since I've been able to record because of issues that I've been having and... <sighs> just other stuff. Making the episode of Token took a couple days. So let me try and remember Midna's voice. Whoa! That reminds me of something! Didn't the Lake Queen in Zora Domain ask you about something? She asked us to find her son! The one who's been missing since he headed for Hyrule Castle. I think she said something about granting you some special power if you rescued him. If the final piece of Fuse Shadow is on the bottom of Lake Hylia, then it looks like we're going to need that ability. I'm like four steps ahead of you, Midna, but I definitely appreciate the input. Anyway. Uh, I think this is the only way back out, but... And those guys, actually, the clowns remain important throughout the game, so... My revelation, I keep on getting sidetracked. I noticed something about the names of the three spirits mentioned in the vision. Lanairu, Eldin, and Pharaon. They all contain parts or holes, a part or hole of each of the goddesses' names. Eldin, La Nairu and Pharaon. Pharaon is just replace the N with an R and an E, and you've got Ferror. The other two contain the whole words, the whole names Din and Nairu. Just something interesting I thought I'd bring up. It really got me thinking about the fourth spirit, though, Ordona. Because. The fourth goddess, according to the Zelda lore, is Hylia. And... There's... It, it, it's nothing like Hylia. So that tells me that... I don't know, maybe the light spirit, Ordon, was always there. And we're gonna get our new move! Which means we're gonna have to take sword in hand and find him, which we did. Ah, uh, I love these heroes shade things moments. <laughs> Sorry, I do that sometimes. We meet again. It appears your efforts have begun to return some vigor to Hyrule, but it is far too early to relax. Do you feel ready to earn another hidden skill to steal yourself for the forthcoming battles against more powerful foes? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the shield attack. Come at me. That was easy. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My third hidden skill is... The Backslice! Let it be hewn into your mind. A mere shield attack is no match for an enemy protected not just by a shield, but by a thick full body coat of armor. Such enemies are often focused on guarding against frequent frontal attacks. They often leave their rear unprotected. That is when you L target and press No. That's when you can jump behind jump and roll behind them, then perform a jumping slice. Basically it controls similarly to the Wind Waker's backslice. Except that it's a lot more you can decide when to do it instead of it decides when to activate. This is the backslice. Now try it!
There we go. Got it. Hmm. You carry yourself well, but do not forget the proper timing for swinging both your for swinging your sword while you jump. The third hidden skill, the back slice, has been passed on. Okay, I thought I'd mention this really quick. I'm pretty sure at this point we have all the hidden skills we need to finish the game, but I always get them all. I always get them all, even the unnecessary ones. Just because that this guy, this guy is so, so cool. I can't help myself. There are still four hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the time you come to learn the next skill. May we meet again. Well, this is shaping up to be quite the episode so far. Now, into Hyrule Castle Town. Oh, I was gonna say Hyrule Castle because my brain had a dumb moment. This game is this game is as bad as Viva Pinata for killing my momentum. <sighs> Greetings, Mr. Ninju. I have come to deliver a letter. This is a letter for you. Two letters, in fact. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. <laughs> Okay, we're actually to the point in the game where I'm pretty sure checking your letters is a good idea. Oh, that's for the cannon, the clowns. And a Barnes has water bombs now. They're just what they sound like, except that they, depending on how you would think they sounded. They're bombs, but they function underwater. I'm pretty sure this is the only Link who's ever been able to use bombs underwater. Which is pretty cool. Anyways, we're gonna get to find Mil we're gonna get to meet Ilya. I just realized that. Because the Zora child that Ilya was tending to, Ilya and the tavern owner, I can't remember her name, were tent Thelma, Ilya and Thelma were tending to, is the Zora Prince. So that's where we need to go. Okay, come on, Castletown, don't let me down. I rhymed again. I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> Anyways, it's very, very, we just need to come here and then we'll see what to do from there. This is probably going to end up being one of the shorter episodes just because I don't want to burn myself out just coming right back into it. And also, we're not doing anything quest worthy like finding the bugs or a temple. That is the Zora child? This is beyond my expertise. <laughs> I think I nailed that voice. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Do Doctor, wait! If something isn't done, this child will... What? Well, this isn't good. A human doctor just won't do, hun. Oh. That coot reminded me, though. I've heard of a shaman in Kakarika Village in the Elden Lands who tend 
tended Gorons and Zoras. That wouldn't happen to be the same shaman who's tending to the children of Ordon Village, would it? Is it true? Perhaps if we take him there... <clears throat> Indiv inadvisable! Too dangerous! But we can't turn a blind eye to a pretty girl in need, either. Yes, we'd better escort you. Am I right, boys? Well, isn't that nice? To reach Kakariko, we've got to cross two plains that are each infested with monsters. <laughs> we'll be safe now. <laughs> show your face here again mm -hmm. oh my looks like we've got one young swordsman left I'm sorry this game definitely does have a sense of humor sometimes and that was hilarious predictable but hilarious And not only that, but it looks like this brave young man will escort us. So get ready to go, honey. Pronto. You know that girl, don't you? Yes. It's a real shame. She can't even remember her own name right now. Okay. Let me say this right now. I know amnesia is overdone in video games and in movies. Obviously it is. But in this case, I actually think it works brilliantly. Because one of the key themes of this game is loss. Link has lost... First he lost the children of Ordon Village and Ilya. Then he still had lost Ilya. Now. Ilya has lost herself, and it's likely going to fall to us to help her find it again. Bless her heart. She found this poor boy collapsed in the road. She did all she could to save him. More courage in that girl than all the soldiers of Hyrule, that's for sure. Not that that's saying much. You lend your strength to her, you hear me? Absolutely. That cat kind of gives me the creeps right there. Be perfectly honest. Uh oh. So you say the bridge to the east has been destroyed, huh? Then our only option is to cross the bridge to the west. Uh-oh. Hey, he lost a horn! You see what that means? You'll have to deal with that thing. Yep. The, thank you so much for this. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? Ninja. I will never in all my life forget your kindness, Ninjo. Little lady, I think you'd best save your thanks until after we're safe in Kakariko.
This swordsman of ours has great eyes, honey. They're proud and wild like a feral beast. We need a beast right now to keep the true ones at bay. If we make it to Kakariko safely, we'll just thank him then, okay? take care of that next time. Until then, I've been NinjoX the Enlightened Gamer. As always, stay enlightened. Hey everybody, NinjoX here. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I really appreciate the support. If you want to give more support, why not click the like button if you liked what you saw, or consider subscribing if you really enjoyed it. Also, feel free to click on any of my other projects, my vlogs, my side, my last Let's Play, which was Pokemon Blue, and just share, talk about it in the comments section, and enjoy yourselves. As I've already said, stay enlightened.